The Department of Water and Power has taken action against employees spotlighted by a KCAL 9 undercover investigation. Investigative reporter David Goldstein joins us now with an update on a report which stunned a lot of people, David. Yes, Sylvia Lino, they're taking quick action now. Three days after we exposed some DWP employees drinking and driving in our hidden camera investigation and going to strip clubs while on duty, the DWP has removed those employees from their positions. We caught you drinking and driving a couple of weeks ago. Who? You. We caught DWP employees drinking and driving in city trucks. Here he comes. And going to a strip club on company time, collecting ratepayers' money. How do you guys get away with going to a strip club for hours at a time? Even before our story aired, the DWP began an investigation. Now they've taken action against some of those we caught on tape. The DWP says six employees have been suspended from their normal duties. However, they remain at work, working in the yard, still getting paid. The investigation is continuing. 245. We followed some DWP employees for three months with our hidden cameras, watching them at the strip club on rainy days when they can't work outside, and at the liquor store on sunny days, buying large cans of beer then wrapping the cans in white paper towels and driving down busy streets. Drinking and driving, of course, is illegal. These men are linemen making near six-figure salaries or more working on the power poles. A former employee who didn't want to be identified says he's seen as many as a dozen DWP employees in the strip club at once. Did you ever see any of them have lap dances? Yes. Sources claim others are also involved, but right now DWP has taken action against some of those we exposed while the investigation is continuing. Now, some city council members already have uh, said that those caught drinking and driving should be fired. The department does have a zero tolerance policy for alcohol. The penalties range from a 20 day suspension to dismissal. DWP says the investigation should be completed in 30 to 60 days. I'm David Goldstein, KCAL 9 News. Sylvia, back to you. All right.